let's start with our first topic so as you can see the first topic which it says is creating the Vue.js application so guys i know most of them of all of you know how to create the Vue.js application but let me just tell you in this i promise you will be learning quite for more things from the ones which you might have seen in other videos uh, by that i mean some new topics which we actually don't find it useful when and we just directly straight uh, jump to you know developing the apps but i will try to cover those topic app application also and also i will try to cover some of the new things which are is quite new like for the audience which are uh, new to uh, the view and so yeah so just to make things uh, we are on the same page if you want you can just skip the video to the next and you can still continue with how you like okay so coming back to this so currently our vue.js application uh comes uh, like with the single page uh, like what we call it as a uh, spa so what this view spa is so spa stands for single page application so single page application has usually has a single state uh, it can have multiple state also but just for instance let, let's say uh if i try to reload this app the whole state of that application just goes away so it's a single page application um and that also uh, then we will talk about some of the build tools also so currently just for information uh view has its own build tool that is called beat and we can use webpack also so if you're familiar with the webpack 5 and others so those are which we are calling it as build tools okay now coming back to this so next topic which i wanted to discuss is called api styling so if you're coming from uh, previous view version so that is view 2 so you you might have been using options api so i was using option apis i know and i liked it but when i got to know the difference of it then i thought it's time to change to the composition api so that i will be showing you why actually even i switched to the composition api and why even view you know tells to you know uh, switch to composition api so let me just show you a quick instance so the two applications which you see right so one is made on on uh, options api which you are familiar with and the one which uh is the composition api so we are using the set setup keyword here so the problem with the, if you see the image how it like what it tries to show that you will see it straight here itself so if you see the green ones and the green one is again called here but if you see the green one is only called here so by that what it means so let's say you define a data in option api and then what you do in you then you follow this whole prototype structure and in in this particular prototype you go to the method and define the function to this counter here now imagine even i have you know fa faced this issue like let's say when your application is quite big and it's a single page application only and you keep on creating new new methods now the problem is you get confused which method is connected to which data so if you see just this also increased by two that like you have to you know some kind of make you have to remember okay increase by two okay double counter so this is something was really causing a problem so what did com composition api does it it removes all the uh what i say prototype i will not go very deep into the this but I will just give you a, a glimpse of why actually our view suggests composition API. So it removes all the prototype. What data you define with that data only you define the function. So similarly here. Now let's say uh, and if I talk about more advantage to it, it replaces mixins and all the issues of the name collision which were happening that is has been fixed with them. Now better type support since it is uh, mostly for normal functions and variables no complicated typing is required in typescript well that's a nice thing now smaller files so as i mentioned let's see like see guys if things are not 1.1 and point two is not you know if you're not understanding don't worry i will try to keep it much simpler so here if you see here the code length and if the code length here if you see you can see a big difference right so this was a good advantage so smaller style files so composition api requires very less code now uh, before i jump into this there is one information which i wanted to share so vjs has on their documentation they have told that view 2 support will end on december 23 uh, uh 23 but by that does it mean that the option api will die with it no remember guys view 2 has the option
option API but view 3 comes with option API and composition API also so that's why if you see their website they always give you this option to switch between but it always suggests you to go with the this API, uh, composition API styles well now let's go down and so now the next thing which i want to talk about since i will be covering most of the video in the composition api inlay only now in the composition api there are two ways to write the code which you might be seeing all over and even you will be seeing me also right so don't get confused even i got confused when i started with composition api so remember when uh, whenever you are using what i say the global uh, module or uh, global build of Vue.js, you always define it in like the setup like this okay but when you are using you know like the build like with the build tools like the just like how i've used here okay so in that case what you do is you have to just define the script setup and yeah things will be taken care of directly okay now let's talk about single file components so short name abbreviative as sfc so sfc as the name suggests it encapsulates the component logic uh, the basically the javascript okay and the html and css in the single file so if you see uh i think i have not added the template okay so this is the so inside that template you can have this div and or you can write it like this inside uh, directly that's not an issue then you have the script and after the script there is one more tag which i forgot to mention is the script tag so this is how the one sfc is there so if i show you if you go to our uh installation here so all the app dot view file this dot view file is called a single file component okay now why this is called single file component is because if you see the main dot js it basically renders uh, the component and inside the component there's a list of hierarchy which goes on okay so i will deep dive more into coming time okay now the next topic which i want to discuss is view the browser so installing this uh is quite easier which i will be talking about in few minutes next but first let's talk about view in browser so view in browser there are basically two ways so as i said so one is the browser build method so in which basically you just define the script and what you do is basically you uh, like it automatically exports the uh, what i say uh global functions let's say create app and then you do, do all the things okay now and th this is how you usually do now if i go to this the other method is called import maps so in import maps it's quite similar to this one but here you have to define the type module but in the import map basically instead of we defining the directly view here we define that I, like here we directly define what view actually is so here we define view so like whenever we use the import statement directly inside the browser we define what this view is and this view uh, directly fetches the path from this so this is a esm browser.js okay so both will run the same thing but now here is the catch i will just try to show you a quick demo of it so if i try to reload this and uh if i show you i haven't imported anything okay nothing is important but still view runs so what we do here is we we are using the import statement guys remember like using an import statement directly in html css when i started i remember it was a nightmare but now you can use it so what you do is you basically go to the html you define the script and then you write type equals to import map so we create a map here in which we write the imports and inside the imports we define what path to, uh, to the variable which we are using or going to use that is view will have the what i say path link so that's what we defined here right okay well that's great now this is what we call the type as import path now uh let's go back again here and now uh once we have defined this there we go we, uh, like we can use the import map here 
and whenever we use import statement remember we use the type as module so this is our good catch now let's talk about the application instance so application instance now here is a uh, something i think the one good topic i forgot to talk before i go go into this application is let's see what a root component is so they might be asking what a root component is so let's say whenever you create an application guys how can I show you this uh, if I take this so whatever you see inside this all this data everything everything from here to here this all is a component okay this is a component and this is how you usually write in the browser okay see what we have written so this all which I've uh, highlighted here we call it as a component itself at the end of the day and this component is what we basically also define it here or we import it from somewhere right so this is called the root component which we have known as app so whenever they ask what is a root component you can correctly answer this is the root component nice and each of this root component basically has a dependency or what I say hierarchical you know uh, structure of list of component which actually gets surrendered with it okay so this is what you have to remember super now let's talk about the application instance so this is how we basically create an application instance so as I said from the last one we basically define the component and which has a list of you know component with it and what we do is basically we warp it inside the create app first okay and then we tell to mount it so for mount also i will commit like so but this is how the application instance is now the mounting the app is very simple so when you define the mounting the app what uh, it does it you have to define the selector dom selector so here in our case we have defined the selector as app so it renders on the app now here one more catch is if you don't have uh, what i say uh, view will automatically use the containers like let's say this div inner HTML as the template if the root component does it not have any uh, any template option so if you don't have a template option template option by means are the template tag if it is not there it will directly do the inner HTML and render components it's inside here okay now la second last thing is the app configurations so if you want to catch the error okay inside the whole application by whole application i mean let's say let's this is a good example so let's say an error comes in to do list you can catch it if an error comes in to do clear button you can catch it okay so if you want to catch an error on all of this you can use the uh, app dot uh, what i say config dot error handler okay here this one which you see and then you can get the configuration so it, it basically catches the error in all the uh, dependent uh, components now let's say it's on, on uh, let's talk about a multiple application instance so it's not usually important that you only create one application right so let's say when you have multiple uh, large application and you want to you know create small small application building a big application that time this can be created so i will just show you uh, here i've created hello view right now if I try to uh, let's call this as a uh, const app one okay and okay and now what I do is I will create const app two is basically nothing but same okay I will try to make so thing is quite clear for you okay now if you see it got only rendered one time why because we are defining the same selector if i make it two and if i make it one and in our html also we make i make it one and i make it two so if you see now the things will be rendered totally of two times so this is how we have created two applications super so this is how we have completed the first topic that is nothing but creating Vue.js application and guys i will be providing all these pages in the description please be sure to check it out thank you guys